Hi, I'd like to start today's episode with a somewhat unusual chalk spring. It can be used with different kinds of drills and other sorts of tools. The great thing about it is that it gives more firmness than those usual standard solutions. It's a great tool to use with a lathe chuck, for example. And the principle is most simple. You can clearly see it yourselves. Knife sharpening really isn't a big deal, especially when you know the best way to do it. All you gotta do is spend a little bit of time to make this sort of thing. It'll definitely help you achieve a proper angle. It's made of polypropylene pipes and clips, those balls are sort of like thrusts. There are openings for them at the bottom. And the blade itself is supposed to hold the neodymium magnets. A piece of sandpaper is fixed in between those two steel sheets. It seems to me that it's one of the most simple and genius solution everyone should consider making. Right, next up, drill holder. I've never seen this kind of holder ever before in my life. Not only this particular solution allows you to drill the center, but you can actually work almost any part at a very specific angle. Also, it allows you to do the miling which truly expands its capabilities. Now let me show you how you can quickly adjust your angle grinder according to the type of cut you're using. You can see it's got a cap and a couple of silicone tubes through which water gets on a disc. The water source is a garden sprayer. Also it's got a rubber cover. The author of this video is extra cautious, as he should be. He uses residual current device to protect himself from an electric shock, which is perfectly sensible when you work your angle grinder near the water. Also, I wanted to show you one very interesting press brake variation. Its main part is made of a profile pipe. There's a wooden bar at the bottom, and the sheet is held with an aluminum stern. This particular variation allows you to bend at 180 degrees. Now oftentimes a bell grinder can be conveniently used for sharpening. All you gotta do is make this kind of table and thrust. It's got neodymium magnets and you can set the angle with a stencil. That clamp keeps the thrust in check. Even an old broken bike pedal can still be useful. For example, you could make a chain key out of it, which, as we all know, can be used under many different circumstances. I hope this video proved useful for you guys, and perhaps now you'd like to make some of that you've just seen. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.